gathered together here in the sight of God and in the presence of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Marriage is an honorable estate instituted by God, blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ, and declared by St. Paul to be honorable among all men. I feel full inside when I get to spend time with you. And um, this past week was just another example of that, just like um, in April when we were with each other. This past week was just another example. Um, and I love you more than anyone else in this world. James Charles Taylor, love of my life. Today, as we stand on the precipice of forever, I vow to choose you. Whatever the future holds, I promise that we will face it head on, a united front. When I say I love you, I mean that I will love you forever. In a world of uncertainty, you are my constant, reminding me that some things truly do last forever after all. first time meeting when I was waiting outside of your castle of an apartment building, <laughs> having never been to such a foreign place like San Diego. And out comes this beautiful girl in her leather jacket. We had a cute little love story for us as some young love in Southern California. Things took a turn for the worse when I visited your family for Thanksgiving and assisted your father as much as I could. I made the man a promise and I asked for his daughter's hand in marriage. I plan to keep that promise forever. That promise led me to chasing a beautiful girl out to Washington, D.C., another foreign place I never thought I'd see myself in. <laughs> I declare by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel that they are husband and wife according to the ordinance of God and the law of this state. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, you may kiss your bride. Lacey, you are truly a remarkable young lady. Thank you, thank you God, for blessing me with my pea to my pod and my Princess Lacey. I have a saying on my wall in my house that says, life is not measured by the breaths that we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. This is one of those moments, one that will always be etched into our hearts. brother Austin, to all of her friends and family for being by her side, and thank you to JC for recognizing how exceptional Lacey is, for uplifting her and supporting her and loving her. And yes, even thank you for taking her hiking <laughs> and for always making sure she makes it back in one piece. And of course, Lacey, thanks to you for being who you are. There are so many people here today who are honored to celebrate with you, and there is so much love for you, for JC, and the life you two are building together. Cheers to you both.
met JC during their service in the United States Marine Corps, when he and Lacey were still pretty early on in their relationship. During that time period, he just remembered JC as this big burly man who was undefeated in their battalion's pugil stick competitions. The amount of days off that man won them by absolutely destroying other Marines is admirable. <laughs> then that brings him to the first time he met Lacey, where JC's demeanor took an entire 180 to being the biggest and softest teddy bear you could possibly imagine. Thank you.